So working on a main combi 24 HE today and we're going to be changing over the air pressure switch. So as usual if you look in the description below I've got some reasons why you might need to change the air pressure switch but let's get into it. So you're going to have two screws for the front case that we're going to pop off. Obviously to get to this point you're first going to need to undo your two screws, take off the white case. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that by now. If not I have other videos explaining how to do that. That is front case off. Alright, okay. I'm not sure if you can see, but our air pressure switch is right there at the back. So we are going to have to take our fan hood off. So we'll just quickly do that now. So we have two screws here that we need to unloosen for this little bracket. And then that to the left and then we're going to undo these four screws for this burner door here okay that's those four screws off this should just slide forward just like that pop that over here it's always a good habit to check your pads, make sure they're not cracked. This one would need to be replaced. Alright, and then now, to take the fan hood out, we have two screws right at the back. I'm not sure if you can see those. Okay. So. You are going to need quite a long screwdriver, a little bit. I would always recommend using a magnetic bit for this because if you drop the screws, it can be a little bit tricky. But it's not the worst place to drop the screws. Okay, so that's one screw up. We have one more on the left. second screw okay so now we just need to take off the baffle on the left hand side and then we should be able to take our hood out so this is our little baffle right there just come out and then this should be able to start wiggling forward now like that and then you're just gonna remember which way around the cables go if you get confused I always just usually take a picture if I'm not too confident or something. So we have our earth in there. Oh, two cables. Okay, then this should just slide out now. Oh, also you have your tube, your black tube connected to here that you need to pop off as well. So you need to pop that off. And then, where should we pop this? We shall pop this here for now. Then now we have nice access to our air pressure switch right there. So let's pop that back through there. That was supposed to be. Okay, so if we want to take the air pressure switch off now, we just have one screw that holds in the bracket from the top. So I have this screw right here. And then, okay, so as per usual, my camera died. But anyway, so once you undo that screw, the air pressure switch will drop down. Then we're just gonna undo our tubes. So see through tube is on the right, black tube is on the left. And then we have our electrical connections here. So brown is going to C. And then we have blue going to NO. 
right there. Just gonna pop those off. If I can get them off. So, obviously your air pressure switch won't come like that, you need to take this little bracket off the top. So, that is how you would get your air pressure switch. So, let's suppose this is your new one now. line these holes back up that was intentional just pop it in here make life easier okay so Echo switch, put a brown back on C. Blue back on N O. Then see if we tube on the right. Black tube which goes to the fan on the left. Then we just need to tighten the bracket to the top of the boiler. So we're gonna push it up. Line it up with the screw. Should be able to tie it in by hand to get it going, and then you can just whoop, tie it up. Okay, that is your new air pressure switch in. And now, also, we just have to put the fan hood back on. So, we'll just quickly do that now. So, just gonna bring up this cable so I don't get caught make sure it's all the way back drop a two screws to the bracket right there Then use your long extension bit and we're gonna find our screws, our silver small screws. I'm just gonna bead them into the back. So that are those two screws back on. I'm just gonna pop our baffle back on the left hand side here. Push that down, put our connections in for the fan. Let's put the earth in on first. back on for the air pressure switch okay so now when the fan spins our air pressure switch should be activated and working properly now we're just gonna put our little burner door back on if I can find it right here Okay. 
Okay, so then let's open our front case. Pop on our two screws. And then when you fire up the boiler now, it should be running nice and smooth for you. So I'll see you then. You slide your white case on. Obviously bring up the panel first, put your screws in, slide your white case on, and then the boiler should be up and running fine. By that exchange an air pressure switch on the main combi HE.